Welcome back to School of Civil Engineering. This is Heather Tula with another new video of CSS SAP 2000 tutorial series. And from our previous lecture, you know that we have started modeling a, a structure by using a real project. So that was our um, actually foundation layout plan. Okay, and uh, we have just drawn grid line in our previous lecture. Okay, and in this lecture will and I'll just open our previous model by clicking here so that was our previous model and we have drawn that grid line so if you see here this is our grid line right and uh, when our grid line is okay actually this is a real project and as per that data as per that data we have drawn our grid line here now what we'll do actually now we'll go for our next work so what I will do? So first of all, we have to define different types of thing. So first of all, I'll go ahead define. Then I'll go materials. I'll just go materials property. Okay. I'll define materials. So first of all, what I'll do actually, we'll just click here, add new materials. So I'll click here, and from here, we have to select reason. For which reason you are working? Okay. So from here as per your reason you can select India or you can select I, I mean as per your reason you can select the otherwise you can select user so if you select user okay then from here you have to select concrete then concrete then uh, what you want to select actually you will select from here so suppose if I select United States so here it's okay United States and from here a standard okay so what is first of all what we'll define we'll define our steel uh, sorry our reinforcement uh, concrete so first of all from here we'll select concrete and after that a standard customary okay so here they have many uh, grade of concrete 3 ksi 4 ksi 5 ksi 6 ksi okay and they have uh, lightweight concrete for um, 3 ksi or 30 uh, 3000 psi 400 psi 500 and 600 psi so here it's up to you and also you're able to define that materials okay so how will just define that materials i will uh, to define that material uh, okay suppose i'm considering that our concrete are in 3 ksi or 3000 psi okay i mean our fc premise 3000 psi then i'll click okay so here you are seeing that a materials have defined like 3000 psi so we can modify here and when we click, click modify if you need to change anything from here you can change that okay you can change that so here the name of the materials okay what is that material step that is concrete and from here the modulus of elasticity actually here the modulus of elasticity are given here but if you need to change that okay so if you need to change that as per aci code as per aci code you can uh, actually as we're considering lb fit then your data will be 57000 okay i mean 57000 into uh, square root of fc prime so if you calculate that then you will get that data modulus of elasticity right and here poisons ratio and after that coefficient of thermal expansion no need to change that okay so when it's done then here the other parameters of concrete materials is you know, a specified concrete compressive estate fc prime so what will be the value of fc prime so you can change that this is the value of compressive estate as the value of fc prime and expected concrete compressive estimate that is 43200 okay actually uh, here we have selected that as a psi but here we have selected lb feed but if we select that just see here if we select that every material have changed actually okay then lv inch in lv inch they have changed here everything have changed because uh, here fc prime is 3000 and s expected compressive strength if you can uh, increase that it's up to you okay so i'll not increase i'll just take it same so from there i'll just select that option 
because it's required for our further work. So when it's done, now I'll simply click OK. So in this way, we can define our materials property. So for everywhere, I will use 300,000 uh, uh, PSI concrete. After that, we have to define our steel properties. So for that, simply I will click here, add new materials, and from where again, United States, and as per your country, you can select that. If you are from India, Europe, China, from which country you are, you can select that. So I am just selecting United States. After that, as uh, I am from Bangladesh, and from I mean in our country, we use maximum time we use SCI code with a SCE. Okay, so here and I'll select concrete from here. Then uh, sorry, from here I'll select steel. And here the grade, it's given 50, uh, 50 grade. So from here we can change that ASTM. So for ASTM 36, A36, 53, then uh, ASTM 500. So from here you can select like that. Then 52 grade. Then here again 50 grade. Grade 50. So here they have uh, many types of grade so actually i will use okay i will use that uh steel property okay i will use that steel property same as i required so i'll just uh from here i'll just take any of it okay 500 grade then we'll change that i will use six i mean uh 60 grade is still so here it's okay i mean 60 grade is this still means 60 ksi okay so here uh, i have um, here is the reinforcement 50 then i'll just click here modify and from here i'll just give fy 60 ksi right fy 60 ksi so then everything is okay you need uh, weight per volume that is 490 okay pound for safety then uh, everything is okay and here will not change anything because it's okay and from here actually minimum yield strength here the minimum yield strength how will be the minimum yield strength so we can select that unit also or that unit right so from here that is 60 ksi i will change that 60 ksi and uh, the minimum tensile stress if you Okay, that is 65 and the expected yield strength FYE that is 55 and okay, no need to change that actually you'll get that data from your uh, lab test after that you have to assign that data here. So when it's done and uh, the modules of elasticity, elasticity actually 2 9 into 10 to the power 6. So this is the 2 point uh, I mean 29 into 10 to the power 6 that is the modulus of elasticity for steel we know about that okay in pound inch okay in pound inch uh, unit so it's done right so when it's done and you can uh, switch to advanced you can uh, select that from here as per your requirement so I'll just when it's done you can cancel that again we'll go for modify actually because uh, So from here, you can um, change everything that you need as per your requirement, right? So I'm just canceling that. So from here, actually, uh, if you do uh, do not want to switch that switch in advance, then it's up to you. Okay, then I'll just this. Uh, I mean, I'll just uncheck that. Then here, that is here now. Now simply again, I'll just do the same work again, because uh, when I have click here choose to advanced property display then uh, the display have changed 16 ksi so one thing just i'll change from here i'll uh, lb inch okay and i'll just give it six because our fy is six sixty thousand psi so when everything is okay and here we can use 65 right uh, 65 so everything is okay after the one is okay now we'll just simply click here okay so here is our own materials and here is our another materials right uh, 
and we can delete that materials property no problem okay for extra thing and we're not able to delete that so okay uh, that is our uh, materials property 3000 psi and this is 40 k uh, 60 ksi for fi and this is for concrete so our uh, defining materials property that's done and in this way you are able to define materials property perfectly as per your design code so okay so in this lecture that's okay and you know next lecture will show that how we'll define section properties perfectly so thank you thank you very much and if you think that that's helpful for you and please subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon so that you get every update ever fast so thank you thank you very much